Hey guys, what's up? This is a video um, of some, again, strange radio interference I'm having. Uh, this is actually, I can pre probably understand why this is happening. It's been happening. Uh, I've, I don't real necessarily ever tune to 88.1 megahertz. I did today to try and pick up WVTF, which is our WVTF. I'll explain this all in a minute. But um, basically, I am receiving our local uh, weather radio station, WXL60, on 88.1 megahertz. Uh, the tower is on Poor Mountain, and I live in Bent Mountain, so it's two miles northwest of here. And uh, it's very powerful. I've heard, and it's located on the WVTF National Public Radio Tower, which puts out way too much power to begin with. It bleeds over onto a pair of old computer speakers I have, which is receiving a radio frequency, and it's not supposed to be. It's not hooked up to any sort of radio receiver or anything like that. Randomly, with the computer speakers in the office, I'll be sitting there, and I'll start to hear the D WVTF signal on the speakers. In fact, it's, it's always done this. No matter what house we've lived in around uh, this area, uh, it's always done this. But... I have never heard of something like this. I'm pretty sure this is uh, the same thing that's happening. The tower is way too powerful. WXL60 is our local weather radio station, 162.475. It broadcasts uh, from, the, again, Poor Mountain. And it broadcasts from the WVTF National Public Radio Tower. Way too much power on the tower. Nice rhyming skills there. Yep. Uh, I'm going to um, turn this up so you guys can hear. And hopefully I'll turn it up at the right time so I'll, you'll be able to hear it identify. Point four seven five megahertz from main antenna, located on the WVTF National Public Radio Tower on Poor Mountain, two miles northwest of Bend Mountain, Virginia, in Roanoke County. And the signals here are the two p.m. observations from around the area. Pretty weak. It's about two thirty p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Today is October nineteenth. I'm pretty sure. Uh, haven't checked my calendar yet, but just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, this is pretty much what I think is happening. The tower is bleeding over onto the radio. Plus, it's very rainy today and dreary and cold, and so it's fuzzy, the signal. You'll, you'll listen. It's pretty fuzzy. In the relative humidity, 86%. The wind was calm. And I have a, uh, a little speaker system set up here, which is plugged into this EP external speaker port, and it's got a splitter that splits into these two old computer speakers, which happen to have regular 3.5 millimeter jack inputs, which was very nifty for that purpose. I also did a video on the Virginia Department of Transportation Highway Advisory Radio, uh, VDOT, 1620 AM, and it was on 1625 AM because I was receiving interference on 1620, but I picked that up. And I had these speakers hooked up. I, I, I took apart the radio a couple weeks ago. And I found the source that comes into here. Because this thing was sticking out too far. And I was afraid that, it, that I might hit it with something. And it might bust the plug on the inside. So I opened up the radio and hot wired those two speakers. Well, actually this. I hot wired a uh, female connector. Free male 3.5 millimeter connector on the inside of this radio. It's still on the inside. Uh, and that's what I used. I just ran the cord inside to the back of the radio so you because you didn't see it here And I just wanted to clarify that but uh, yeah, that's my speaker setup And this is a really rare occurrence folks not really rare because I'm it's I'm, I'm I've heard of Instances uh, like I said the speakers downstairs in the office which WVTF bleeds over onto them But the WVTF tower is way too powerful also broadcast the NOAA weather radio signal 162.475 and it is bleeding over very close to WVTF. WVTF is literally 10 steps above this. It's 89.1 megahertz Roanoke, Virginia is what WVTF broadcasts on. But this is 88.1 megahertz and I'm receiving the NOAA weather radio station. I'm like, what the crap? So uh, here, I'll let you hear this and then I'll tune up to WVTF and just show you how close it is. And here, I'll tune to WVTF. National Public Radio. Very trendy. And it bleeds over onto 88.8. You can hear it. Over an actual station from Lynchburg, it's bleeding over that. When I do 89.0, I've still got it. 
89.1, I've still got it. 89.2, I've still got it. 89.3, I've still got it. 89.4, I've still got it. And then it stops. So that's how powerful it is that I can pick it up on all those frequencies. Here it is again. Of the year. Lows around 40. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles. Around 60. Northwest winds around 10 miles an hour in the morning, becoming light and variable. And that's pretty much it. it. That is a possibility. That's pretty much what's happening here. If you could uh, leave any comments or questions about this video and subscribe for more videos, guys. Bye.